Hi everyone, welcome to my channel DevOps Mela. In this tutorial, I'll be creating a CI pipeline using Azure DevOps. So in my previous lecture, I have covered how to create a Visual Studio solution package and how to import a DACPAC file. Okay, so we post all our changes, all our previous changes, the solution file and the, and the database objects on my Azure Git. Okay, using this repository, I would be creating a CI pipeline that's continuous integration pipeline, which would be later automated. So whenever there's a change to the solution file and the change is pushed to the remote repository, this particular pipeline will auto trigger. Okay, so let's create a new pipeline altogether. So over here, I'll be using a classic editor. So let's click on classic editor. I'm using Azure repos git. You guys can use GitHub, GitHub Enterprise and other git or Bitbucket. Depend. So this is my project name adventure underscore DB pointing to my master repository. Okay. So this is a .NET build. So I'll select .NET, apply. Okay, so my the first the pipeline name is adventure.net desktop CI. So I'll change it to adventure underscore db. That's my pipeline name. Agent pool, I would be using Azure pipelines. Agent specification, window 2016 is good. Parameters I'll un auto by default it has selected the solution path. Source we are using Adventure DB Master Azure Repos Git. Okay, so my task. Let's talk about the task. My first task is agent job name number one. I'll keep it default. Inherit from pipeline. I'll I'll keep all this option default. Timeout zero job cancellation zero. I won't make any changes to it. This new new get. This is a packet Microsoft Open Source Package Manager, which is not required for our tutorial. Same new get restore is not required. So we'll be using a build a Visual Studio build. Okay. So I've unlinked this, I'll select my solution file. This is a solution file which we, which we have created in our previous lecture. Visual Studio version, I'll keep it latest. These are all MS build platforms and configuration which will keep it default. In advance, if you see, we are using a legacy MS build x86. So we are doing we are using MS build for creating a build a CI build. Okay. The rest of the options I'll keep it default. I won't make any changes to it. Run this task only when all previous tasks have succeeded. So that is good. VS test, I'm not doing any functional or unit test, so I won't if I'll remove this option. Publish symbol path, even I'm not using this copy files so once the build is created copying the files from azure azure server to a drop location uh, this is used so these are the parameters copying files from build artifact staging directory source folder at this particular parameter the files will be kept this is sorry that's the source folder from the from where the file files would be copied and this is the target folder okay I'm not making any changes. I'll keep it default. You guys can change as per your requirement. Okay. So in the last step, publish artifacts. So whatever the build, when a build is created, a new DACPAC file would be created. So we are storing the DACPAC file under a drop folder name. Okay. Rest other parameters would be default.
we can even change the location to a file share location if we have any if you have a file share server you can change the location and you can select your file share server path where you want to save all your drop where, where you want to drop all your new backpack file which will be created using this CI pipeline if you want to set any pipeline variables you can set it directly from here we have few variables set like the build configuration which we just saw the values are released build platform any CPU and other information we have a variable groups as well which we can define the important we have triggers so if you click on enable continuous integration as I talked about if there's any change to your local solution file and if you and if you do a push this particular pipeline will auto trigger okay so it's pointing to your master repository as if not for this tutorial I have only one, only one branch that is master if you want to schedule so it's like a cron job if you want to schedule a task at some particular location you can click on add a schedule timer for your pipeline after build completion if you want to make any further changes like if you want to trigger any other build or something like that even that is possible once this build is completed options there are build properties which you can set you can link your new work in this build you can these are the urls which is when you will place it on your get you get a status update whether your build has failed succeeded okay so there are a few uh, default parameters build job timeout in 16 minutes build job cancellation timeout in 5 minutes you can customize this pa parameter based on your requirement retention like if you want to set a retention policy how long you want to keep this build those information can be set from here I'll show you so as of now days to keep artifacts is 30 days to keep run 30 days to keep pull request 30 number of weeks and runs to retain per pipeline is 3 you can make changes based on your requirement what's your policies you can set the policy I'm not making any changes and keeping it default as of now history if I do any changes to this pipeline the history would be set so right now I've added this pipeline so it's been set under my name Rohit Kumar okay so let's go back to the task Let's remove a new a new get which is not needed for this particular tutorial. Visual Studio build is required. I'll remove V test two. I'll remove the publish symbol path. Okay, let's turn. I'll save it. let's go in pipeline okay this is the pipeline which we have just created adventure db let's run the pipeline so even the if this is an automated process only for this tutorial I'm manually running this pipeline okay so Azure pipeline agent pool is Azure pipeline agent specification we're using Visual Studio 2017 win 2016 branch master I'll click run one pipeline is currently running so this pipeline because this I'm running this pipeline for the first time it will take around one or two minutes depending so let's wait for the pipeline to get completed so currently it's in build solution so there's a build process going on right now Again, you can check the logs by clicking on agent pool get the detailed information about your pipeline what's happening with the pipeline okay if you click on the pipeline adventure db is currently running just click over here on the running icon click on this icon you'll able to see the logs so our build was completed successfully
if you click on this artifacts under drop bin release here we go a new deck pack file is created if you just highlight and click on it your deck pack file would be downloaded locally okay in, in my next tutorial i'll be creating a sql database on azure cloud and using a cd pipeline i'll be deploying a DAC pack file on Azure Cloud. Okay. Thank you.